Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing a how-to video on how to remove a glove box from an Audi A3 or S3 8P. Um, it most likely will be the same design on some other Audis as well, for some other different models. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, my own particular reason for removing the glove box as well is my heater's been making a couple of little squealing sounds when it's on and as well as when you turn the ignition on. Um, so hopefully I can have a look at that and maybe hopefully fix it. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope it helps you if you need to take your glove box out in the future. Okay, so the first thing you want to going to do is open up the glove box like so. Uh, I do recommend if you turn off your airbag as well while you're at it, just in case anything did happen. And your first bolt you want to take out of the glove box will be right at the back here. And it is an 8mm socket, so if you get your ratchet and just with an extension bar. And just unscrew that back one there. Just fast forward it. So there you go. So you want to keep all your nuts safe. So put them all aside. And the second one, well, three up here along the top of the glove box. Now you don't need an extension bar or anything for this, it's just straight forward 8mm bolts. So then your last one at the end. That's your last one at the top. And then... So now you just need to take this power off, which is easy enough just to get your finger right at this edge here. And all you're holding it on is just clips. So as you can see, it's just three clips. And it's very easy to just come off, you just pull it off. And from here, there'll be an 8mm screw that'll be right in there. So, just take that one out. So again, keep your all your screws to a side and don't lose any. And the next one will be underneath the glove box. So to get to these, you have to go right under and there will be two 8mm bolts that are under here as well. So you go, there's one. And your second one underneath here as well. So from this point you'll also notice that the glove box is now starting to drop. So if you just keep hold of it, open the glove box. There you go, it's just a little clip there. So that's your glove box out. So if, as you can see from behind the glove box you can see this is a heater fan. So if you ever need to replace the heater it's here. Um, as well as if you need to replace any of the bulbs that are inside the glove box um, as well as the airbag switch which is also here 
Okay, so put the glove box back in. You just want to push the cable out the way, like so. Just so it doesn't get caught or in the way of anything. And then you see these little clips on the glove box. You just want to line it up, and so there'll be holes that also line up with these clips. So if you just get it in place, tricky. There we go. That's it there. If you open up the glove box, try your best to get one of the screws in while you're holding the glove box up. And what, which one I'm going to go for is the side one. So that way I can hold my left side up. So there you go. Well, you just need a couple of threads just to hold it up. So that's the left side already held up now. And then you want to grab the rub box again and get another one of these top ones in. There you go. So once you get one in, the rest is pretty simple. You just have to go around the glove box, putting all the screws back in. You've already taken out. So once you get all three of these in, you want to lift the glove box back up, and you want to get the ones underneath in. But make sure you're only using the silver bolts for the outside of the glove box because the one that's actually inside at the back is actually painted black. So let's get these in the bottom. So now just for the left side. Okay, now for the last screw, we'll be at the back of the glove box inside, which is just below your glove box interior lights. So once you've done, put all your bolts in by hand with your socket, you want to grab your ratchet and go around the glove box and just tighten up all the little 8mm bolts that hold the glove box in. Make sure you get the side one as well. There we go, and then once you get that side one in you can put your panel back on. push it in and then once you do with the clips you just line them up and just tap them in it's very simple they go back in there and then you want to close the glove box and just go underneath just make sure these are tight and there you go that's how you remove and put your glove box back in on now the A3 or S3.